Hey traders, welcome to Systematic Trading World YouTube channel. Today we're gonna discuss about trading via TradingView email alerts. Yes, TradingView is such a platform where you can visualize thousands of financial charts of different markets starting from stocks, indices, cryptos, commodities, forex pairs, etc. Apart from that, TradingView has its own programming language called PineScript where you can design your own indicator and strategies. Moreover, TradingView provides an alert system similar to other charting or broker platforms but the uniqueness it delivers is a webhook URL. Through this webhook URL, one can take out the signals from TradingView to a third-party platform upon which an automated trading system can be built and deployed. But, 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 this facility is only applicable to TradingView paid subscribers. The free tire user cannot use the webhook URL. However, TradingView provides the facility to send the generated alerts into your registered or linked email account. Therefore, in this video, we're gonna discuss about a method through which the trading signals can be filtered from the delivered alert messages. Once we're able to filter out the signals, then an order can be pushed to your broker through a broker API. After a brief introduction, let's get started with the workarounds. This is the part one of the TradingView email alert bridge series where we understand the algorithm or you can say a step-by-step -step procedure to achieve our stated goal. In the first step, one need to create a new Gmail account. You can use your existing Gmail account but it is recommended to create a separate one only for this particular purpose so that our written algorithm can get rid of selecting specific emails from a bunch of received email messages. Next, create a new TradingView account with the newly created Gmail ID. In the next step, we just need to Generate a app password for your Gmail account. A link containing the detailed information is provided in the description section to help you out. Let me open the link for you people. Let's see, here is the link provided and this is the link where you are generating a 16 digit passcode for which you require to activate two factor authentication every single step is provided in this link you can check out for more information further in step 4 we need to activate IMAP service that stands for internet messaging access protocol it is important to activate this since it is required to access the mails from a platform outside of Gmail let me show you the same and I will attach the link in description section also so let me go to the platform itself and uh, here you can check uh, this is this is the link check gmail through other email platforms set IMPA and change your SMTP settings all these things need to be done by default these things are already activated but somehow if your email is not activated with these services you need to activate the same. In the next step, we need to choose a programming language. In our case, we are choosing Python for simplicity. Then further, we can set up some initialization parameters as shown in this slide. Undoubtedly, the first parameter is email ID. Second is the generated app password to access the Gmail account. Next, we need to mention the IMAP URL for Gmail. Next, the receiver email is the trading view email from which we are receiving the alerts. Then the most important parameters are alert prefix and alert postfix, which are going to play a vital role in filtering the email body. 
यूज ऑफ दीज टू पैरामीटर कैन बी क्लियर इन द नेक्स्ट लाइड इन स्टेप सेवन वी आर गोइंग टू प्रिपेयर द अलॉट स्ट्रिंग अलॉट स्ट्रिंग इज नथिंग बट ए जेशन फॉर्मेट स्टेट स्ट्रिंग विच इज गोइंग टू बी प्रोवाइड इन द अलॉट सेक्शन ऑफ ट्रेडिंग व्यू with certain parameters what are certain parameters can be a strategy name it can be a the ticker name it can be the price on which the execution is going to made and action can be a buy sell action and this particular string can be modified to a string with prefix and postfix string how can it be seen the prefix and postfix can be provided in the starting and ending this is provided because we need to filter out the message itself from the entire mail body so this particular thing is going to help us how it will going to help us we will discuss in further steps next we going to heading towards setting an allot so in the step 8 we are going to create an allot in the trading view how it can be created in the trading view website website itself you can see a top bar where this parameter are going to be seen and in that itself you can see see a allot option when you click on the allot option you are going to see a dialog box like this in that dialog box you can mention your strategy and and the allot name you can mention like tv email allot and in the message body section you can provide the message which have been discussed in the previous section so here this message is provided once then what certain settings we need to do we need to set a tick mark on the send email option and save this particular setting friends in the ninth step we are going to uh, get into some technical facts uh, in the step we are going to create an infinite loop in the code and first of all we need to set a loop start time yes it is very important to set a loop start time let me clarify you why and inside that loop you keep on searching the unseen emails from the set of received emails yes in the loop itself we are keep on searching for a new unseen email so check the email delivery date time and ignore the alerts delivered before the loop start time yes that's why the loop start time is mentioned to ignore any unseen email mentioned or received before the start of this program then wait for the new mail alert yes the loop keep on waiting for a new mail alert and once a mail alert is received it will filter the email message body through regexs and for that particular purpose we have mentioned a prefix and postfix string to filter out the same thing using regex okay so finally punch an order to your preferred broker once you get the json format which can be used as a dictionary in python and th from that itself you can the get the information like um, the entry price uh, whether it is a buy or sell signal and all such facts you can gather out and punch a order to your preferred broker and this step is variation shell let me show you how can you achieve the same so right now we are in binance chart of btc and tether usdt so this is the 1 minute time frame chart let me uh, place a strategy let's say we are placing a super trend strategy okay so you are not going to mention the indicator rather you mention the strategy it will be easy to uh, make something happen and easy to code something so uh, here itself see you can see some indicators over here this is the long position 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 indicator this is the short position indicator let me set an allot over here you are we are clicking on the allot and from the condition box itself in the drop down we select super trend 10 uh, 10 comma 3 and in the allot name let me mention that it is a tv email allot okay and in the message section i have i am going to paste the same message we have created 
in uh, in our slide so this is the tv allot prefix and this is the tv allot postfix and in between that we are going to mention strategy ticker uh, price where it is going to uh, push on the close price and the action is the strategy dot order dot action it will say either it is a buy action or a sell action we will press on the create button friends you can see the allot is going uh, is present over here right now and uh, to uh, see uh, whether the indicator is changing or not we let's say put the super trend uh, super trend indicator also over here okay so uh, right now the indicator is showing a red indication once the candle any candle going to close over this then a process going to be started uh, and the uh, the uh, indicator is going to the strategy is going to put an buy signal over here let me start the strategy in between let me start the program in between that friends we have started our program and it is keep on running now and it is ignoring the unseen messages currently but we have discussed in the loop section see it is now waiting for an uh, alert to come waiting for a new email alert here it can see the loop it is keep on waiting right now let me divide it, this thing into two different split screens so that we can uh, see parallel executions side by side we are waiting for a candle closing above this uh, trading view red indication friends the candle is currently in the verge of closing the label but uh, somehow it is not closed above the red super trend we need to wait further friends this candle again attempting a closing above that particular label but is failed to do that the next candle is already opened let's wait some much time friends it is again in the verge of crossing the label itself but it hasn't crossed it it hasn't closed above that label we need to still a little longer friends this candle looks to be convincingly closing over the uh, super trend line but it still haven't closed we'll need to wait further friend this current candle is showing some intention to close above the predefined label hopefully it close yes we have received an alert and here itself we have received the mail and uh, here uh, in this program we have received the strategy and uh, uh, strategy a lot and currently we can uh, we are only with receiving the a lot and storing it into an log file you can see in the log file itself it has been stored uh, and this is the timing of this particular may uh, particular a lot to be received uh, and in the next line it is mentioned that use order api of your preferred broker to fire a buy order for the btc usdt because the action is seems to be an buy one so here itself we can you can put your brokered um, api details to activate particular strategy into your broker account here itself you can make the code happen friends if you want to uh, get this code you can uh, get uh, get it get the information in the description section how to uh, take this code so once you done with the code you can uh, consider terminating the infinite loop to stop the script and at last i just want to say uh, if you like our content then please consider subscribing our channel if you have any question suggestion or feedback then you can definitely provide it in the comment section you can also put the like button to appreciate our work and this note i just want to end this video thank you thanks a lot